In this video, I'll be showing you guys the newest way to get eSign on your iOS device without computer and jailbreak. With eSign, you guys can download your favorite IPA files with just a few steps, making it the most reliable signer, working for iOS 15 all the way up to the latest iOS. So this is a continuation of a video that I made before. And with this video, there is a new working certificate, which I'll show you guys which one it is. It's very similar to my old video, but we just have to click on a different certificate. So the first thing you guys have to do is go to the developer's official website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. And what we first have to do is click on install DNS profile here. You'll get a pop up saying this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Click allow. And then you're just going to click on close here. And in settings, you're essentially just going to have to click on your profile downloaded. And then you'll get this page which says install profile. Click install. Enter in your passcode. Click install. Install. And you can just click on done there. And so once you guys finalize the process, you guys will see a bookmark on your home screen here. And if you just click on that bookmark, it is the same as the developer's website. So you can just simply click on here to download future stuff. Anyways, once you guys have clicked on the bookmark, uh, you're just going to have to scroll down all the way until you guys see eSign bypass revoke. So just keep scrolling down. There is a lot of case signs as well. So you guys can click on any one of these. I'll be making a video soon on the working certificates for case signs. So make sure you guys do in fact hit that notification bell so you guys get informed when I do it. Anyways, you're going to go down to eSign bypass revoke. And basically from here, you'll see a bunch of different e-signs, and then each one will have text beneath this showing the certificate. So all of these I've tested are revoked except for Vietnam Joint Stock Commercial Bank for Industry and Trade. That profile is in fact not revoked. So you're just going to click on the little blue cloud download icon here. And then you'll get redirected to this page here. Just click on install here. Click on install. And you guys will see your e-sign is installing here. And as you guys can see, the eSign has been installed. And so now if you guys click on the eSign, it'll say untrusted enterprise developer. So what you guys have to do is just go into your settings app. And then obviously you're going to be in general and then just go down to VPN and device management, click on the enterprise app, and then you guys will need to trust it. So I'm going to be back when I do trust it since it does require a restart. And now that I've restarted, all you do is just click on the eSign app and it may crash the first time. So just reopen it. But for me, it didn't crash this time. So just if you guys want, you guys can read the service agreement. Click agree. Click agree. And uh, yeah, you guys can see that eSign has successfully been installed. However, we need to make sure that eSign is ready for signing. So now all you guys have to do is just swipe out of eSign, go back into Safari to the original developer's website, and then you're just going to click on download certificate here. And then it'll say, do you want to download certs? Click on download here. And then now you just have to go back into your files app here. And then you guys will see the zip file here. So just to extract the zip file, you just have to click on the zip file itself. And then as you guys can see, the folder for it has been downloaded. And the reason why I have three folders is because I clicked and extracted the other two before this video. So anyways, I'm just going to click on the folder here and then you guys can see eSciencer, KScienceer. But this is not too important right now because we first have to go into eSign and then import these. So once you guys enter an eSign, click on settings, click on import resource, and then obviously locate the folder again. It's already here for me. You can click on eSign or KSign. Obviously, KSign has 30 items, which means it has 30 different certificates you can use. That is a lot. And so you could probably have a better chance of getting a working certificate with KSign. But for this video, we're doing eSign. So just click on eSign, sir. And then all of these files here will end in .esignsert. 
and you'll see 11 of these here and what we essentially have to do is just make sure that we click on the certificate that we downloaded eSign with so for example since i downloaded eSign with the vietnam joint stock certificate i'm just gonna click on the vietnam joint stock certificate over here and then click on import it'll say imported successfully and now you guys can just go into certificate management and you guys can see the certificate and it will be revoked in two years which means you have essentially two years to sideload ipas as much as you want and so now you guys can just go into file list you'll see your imported certificate here and we can now start to sideload the ip that we want to sideload so what you're going to do is obviously you're going to stay on this file list click on the three dots at the top click on import and then you'll automatically be here on the eSign page kick back and now from here all you guys really have to do is just locate the ipa file so i'm just going to go into downloads and i'll be using old os for this video if you guys want to see how to get the old os ipa how to get ios 4 on any one of your iphones then i'll leave a link in the description and also there should be a video in the top right so you guys can click on that and watch that video anyways i'm just gonna click on the ipa here click on import and then once you guys have imported go into apps and it should be unsigned here so just click on the old OS app here, click on signature, click on signature. And then you might just get something saying the certificate has been revoked. Trust me, do not listen to that. The certificate does still work and I'll show you guys right now. You guys can just click on install here, click install. And now it should be installing. And as you guys can see, it is on my home screen installing right now. So now if you just click on the old OS icon here, you can see that the IP is loading and it pretty much works just like it was intended to. So you can just click on allow, you can slide to unlock, and then you guys can literally see a working iOS for it. And that's pretty much how you install any IP using eSign. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.